In Sermon 56 of Mahjoblaga, Ali reminded people of how things were when they were with the seal of the prophets. It didn't matter what the sort of relationship was. They either had to deal with them kindly or even had to fight them in the middle of the war. So, you know, what does that have to say to people nowadays that say, you know, they fight for their country or their race or, you know, their whatever, blood and soil doesn't, doesn't cut it, right? The point is that they were to observe the truth. And infamy eventually went on the foe. It seemed overwhelming for almost the entirety of Muhammad's life that they wouldn't be just... Well, I mean, you know, during his prophethood that they wouldn't just be wiped out. What few followers he had, or even when the followers got bigger, it just seemed the odds were so much against them. Um, but them holding back and not behaving like them against, you know, behaving like their enemies against them, um, you know, it paid off in the long run. And it would have prevented the pillars of the faith to have been risen, the tree of faith to be risen. You know, the tree of faith, the, uh, you know, the living sort of deeds, but the pillars as far as the um, institutionalized, you know, you got the testimony of faith, you got the ritual prayer as prescribed. The Bible's full of that idea of a prescribed prayer, too. Almost every religion doesn't just say, oh, prayer is what you feel like saying. And, um, And, you know, you, you can't just look at how things are in this world and say that that was, you know, how right and wrong were decided. Um, letter 16 is, I guess, a instruction. Um, Shurei ben Hani was in charge of the group proceeding towards Syria. And this was the group of instructions to him. And people were reminded to have fear of God at the ends of the day and remaining aware that there can be illusion and delusion in this world and to not indulge in things just because one thinks that one loves them. Our focus is to protect and to mitigate our feelings. Saying 56 reminds us that wealth and opulence isn't going to make things um, seem familiar and fitting by itself. And same thing with the destitution. So, if you're well off and you're content, it doesn't matter where you are. It's, it seems like a fitting place. But if not, if you're not well off, if you're not content, you know. <laughs>